I'm part of a fifth generation Tulsa family. Uh -huh. And um, when we lost our business, it became apparent that we're, there were some things going on that we as a family didn't feel were right. And primarily it was that deals are being made without public input, and ours was a perfect example. But it goes way beyond that. I think people are tired of government officials who don't tell the truth. I think they're tired of promises that are not kept. I think they're really tired of taxes. And so my message is that I'd like to bring fresh eyes to the county commission. I am against new taxes, period, the end. I think government officials should spend money very wisely, just as we had to do in our business. In a business, when you're in trouble, you look internally. And I think that's what the county needs to do. So I guess my message is that I'm ready to take this job on as a business person. I have uh, a work ethic. I've worked hard all of my life, and I really do want to do the job, and I really do want to represent the district, too. I, I know that that's going to be on people's minds. Of course, what happened to us was devastating to our family. But Bells is gone. We're not going to be on the fairgrounds ever again. But there's a deeper issue, and the issue is how that was accomplished. And it was accomplished by five people with no public discussion and no public vote. I don't think that's good for Tulsa. I don't think you treat people that way, and I certainly don't think, we were 56 years on the fairgrounds. We got absolutely no warning that this was going to happen. So it is not revenge, but it certainly is an attempt to open people's eyes to what's going on. I think if Randy would get out and talk to the people I've talked to, she wouldn't have that impression. I've had, I don't know how many people in my family also ask us to run. People are ready for that office to change. They're ready for a new person down there. And I think they're ready for somebody who has a fresh idea, and I do. I will look at this as a business. I will look at the money as if it were my own money. I've been responsible for a lot of money during, at our business. We signed huge notes when we bought new equipment, and we paid them back. So I know what it do means to handle a budget, and I know what it means to people who are working hard. You know, when it's $55 to fill up a small car, when you have children that you have to feed and clothe, a penny here and a penny there makes a lot of difference. And so I am against new taxes, and I do mean that. I am totally against new taxes. I think Stanley Glanz has done a wonderful job with the resources he's been given, but the Sheriff's Department is terribly underfunded and terribly overworked. I know that because we hired deputies at our business, and I know they work two and three jobs to support their families. So I think public safety is one of the primary jobs of government one of the few primary jobs because in my opinion government's way too big I think they do things they don't need to be doing but public safety is at top of the list so I would say you start looking around at ways to give the sheriff and that department some help they need help well for instance with regard to the river I, I want river development as much as everybody else, but I see it a different way. What I see is that the government should do what it's supposed to do, get the infrastructure prepared, and then you turn it over to free enterprise. You let entrepreneurs come in and build businesses. If they make it, great, but if they don't, they take the blame and they, they suffer the consequences. It's not put on the back of the taxpayers. I think the river will develop. And I don't think it has to be done through tax dollars. Government does not create wealth, ever. Government only takes wealth. And so we have to try to turn this around and encourage businesses. You don't do that with higher taxes and more regulation. Just that I would really like the support of the people of District 2. I promise them I'll work hard and that I'll do a good job and that I'll watch their money as if it were my own. And I'm happy to be running.